So we're going to have the Philadelphia Flyers coming into our building this time. Sebastian Ajo and the Flyers in this game, a rematch. We just played this team up in Philly not too many games ago. It was not a great performance by myself. Uh, the last couple of games I've been struggling along. So we just got to find a way to dig in, get right back to it, play the way that we know we can. We've dipped below 900 on average for the season for the first time probably since the season's beginning so yeah just a bit of a rough stretch of play for us personally let's just try to piece together a decent start here at home don't worry about a shutout i've said the word don't worry about it it's probably not happening 69 in the crease very nice for the flyers <laughs> all right i must know who is in the net for the flyers i don't i don't know if i should even be focused on that let's just focus Excuse me, I got something in my throat. Let's just focus on stopping the puck first and foremost. I forgot that in the Dallas game, we changed camera angles at the end just to experiment. I'm going to play a game like this. I'm going to play out the whole game like this. Sometimes you just need to make an adjustment to the camera angle. We have dropped our last six in a row. It's been a tough stretch for the team. We dipped in the standings, obviously, with that. Um, as I alluded to before... In the MLB games, if I have a difficult time. Oh, it's Vamelka in the net for the Flyers. That's who that is. And boy, is that guy actually an amazing goaltender in real life. If he was on an actually decent team, not ripping on the Coyotes here, but if he was on an actually decent team, boy, would that team be amazing. If you put him behind a really great defense. But going back to what I was saying, in MLB, the video game, MLB, if, I, if I'm having a tough stretch at bat then I will change the camera angles and it kind of helps me get out of the funk. So I'm trying the same thing with the goalie series that we're doing here. It is a bit of a weird camera angle to go from with the whatever the camera we were using before. Oh, that was difficult, but we got a pad to it. Oh, delay penalty is going against the Flyers. I don't know what it's going to be for. It happened behind the play. This is going to rim all the way around. You see it here. Let's focus on what the puck's doing behind the net. Oh, uh, Dylan Larkin with one of the most dangerous passes, even with the net empty. The Flyers will go shorthanded, taking the first penalty in the game and holding to Jake DeBrusk. A uh, pretty clear cut right there. The Flyers will take the game's first penalty. We're going to go to the game's first power play. Riley with a clear. Myself taking a penalty because apparently my guy doesn't know how to play it ahead of, of the goal line so i've immediately negated our power play honestly probably should have just left that one alone but i didn't know my guy would play it behind the goal line outside of the trapezoid that power play lasted a grand total of six seconds great job really way to go i have been known to have moments of grandeur playing the puck outside of the crease all right, so when we see the first Flyers rush, just shoot it off the rush. That's the only thing that I'm looking for from the AI. They need to just shoot it more off the rush or, or when they have a shot lane, but they don't take enough. And that was a problem we've run into in the last couple of games is I've given up. What did I give up in Dallas? I think I gave up four. There was a really bad one in there as well. I think to Ronton or whoever it was that shot it from the point. But the problem we've run into has been just not seeing enough shots. You can give up three goals in a game which isn't terrible but if you're not seeing 30 shots the save percentage is obviously going to dip i'm not going to see a save oh that's for me okay it's for you i'm get out of my way please sod so try to enjoy this little bit of time we're going to have at four on four the flyers will get a very small amount of time on the power play what will the flyers get six seconds on the power play something like that oh i, I should have had that covered when this four on four play ends it will be a very abbreviated power play but a power play nonetheless and uh, that's going to be a shot. Yes. Oh, my. Okay. Get get to this post and then prepare for a shot. Ronick to Taves. Oh, my goodness. Sebastian oh, showing off in front of the old fans. That's popped up off the post. Oh, my God. Okay. This is getting a little too out of hand for my taste. Oh, no. Yeah, I knew that was going to be a trip as soon as I saw that happen. Uh, he knows what he did wrong. He definitely got caught for tripping. That's an easy one. A bad trip as well at center ice. Uh, it was it, it was very interesting and adventurous at, at five on five. What's it going to be like with a power play? So this will be the Flyers' first full-fledged power play attempt of the, of the game. Not to say that this will be their last. It probably won't. 
All right, here we come. Out go the Flyers. Bo Horvat, former Canuck, leaves it. Oh, my God. That We couldn't have gotten a more gracious rebound on that. I, I hate that animation so much. Why does he have to sit back when he's making a save like that? I mean, oh, man. Here you go. Oh, Timmons, that's not going to... It is enough. You don't have any control over the goalie animations. Some of these animations, you just... Well, you, none of them you have no control over any of them. If the goalie decides to sit down on a save, I can't, I can't tell the goalie not to do that. Needless to say, I haven't been playing the most confident in net the last couple of games. I haven't been playing my to my maximum level of confidence. Before that, I was playing amazing. Just trying to get right back on that grind, that goaltending grind. That's a start. Yeah, remember up in Philly, we had a difficult time with the Flyers when they went on the power play because they had Bo Horvat. And they had a lot of one-timing options. They passed off on the one-timers. It got very dangerous very quickly. Roughly 10 shots per period. That's going to be over 30 shots by the end of the game, which we haven't seen a team do in a while. Oh, that was bouncing. Here we go. Taves again. This is Devin Taves, I do believe. Missed. Get up. Can you just... There. <laughs> oh, it's not out. That's bad. That is bad. That never got out, but I had to prevent Philly from getting possession. It looks like we're going to end up just fine after that. It takes forever for him to recover. Pull up, pass across, and blocked again to Brusque's attempt. There we go. This is a little more like it. Now we're starting to get that extended possession. I always have to note when Sebastian Ajo is on the ice, not just because he's a former Hurricane, but because he is an excellent player out there. And I don't think we let him score in the last game we played Philadelphia up there. But he did score here in his return to PNC Arena. Oh, we had the angle. But again, we're falling back. Oh, what a great save we adjusted on the one-timer. Well, I probably haven't put it in the video, but I just looked at the replay of that one-timer. And it was Sebastian Ajo, the man that possesses the puck now, that took that one-timer as we were adjusting. There's a pass. Nice. Nicely done. I mean, that's a pretty easy read when you know they're going to pretty much give up the pass. Don't believe that your team's going to get it out because they're not. That was a save on DeBrusque, and we've taken a penalty as the first period ends in excitement. Too much for my taste, but a very nice saves along the way. And that's why I said you can never trust your own team. Turnover leads to an immediate shot, and we make the save. Oh, man, just got a piece of it. And then where did the penalty come? It came somewhere in that crazy sequence well we got away with one and didn't get away with one at the end of the first period we got away with one in that we bailed our team out with big saves but the team in front of me also took a penalty so we're going to put the flyers to an early period power play two shots on two power plays so far this will be the flyers third power play technically in this game remember they, they had a very abbreviated one that they didn't do anything with and right on the tape of couturier we melt it down and we will try to survive once more. A Flyers power play attack. Ajo gets the puck back. Oh, the puck. Okay, I got to just stop moving around too much in the butterfly. Tip it again to Ajo just winding it up. Way to be. Ajo, the break in. Passes off. Coots. We read the shot. I'm, and Ajo's standing right there. So I'm just going to take another face off. Just trying to stay right on top of things. Get down on it in this first, second period of play. Tip it. That'll be a shot. It directs wide. In front the Taves. Short side held on to. Ooh, that's risky, but I hope we can get a clear. If we do, we kill it. We do. It's just knowing the scenario, the situation, and what the risk was. It was a bit risky, but we moved it out. We got the clear, and we defended well in the blue line. Should be the end of... Nope, not the end of Ajo's ship. Man, what a long shift for Ajo. And again, negated at the blue line. Ethan Bear... Having a moment right beside me. Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. Ethan Bear. I swear, you never trust the guys in front of you at all times. I don't care how good of a buddy you are with somebody. You can never trust the team in front of you. Oh, still out there. KK to a wide open point in Lindell. No shot coming. We're just picky, choosy about shooting. Finally, Lindell hits his teammate. Great find to hit your teammate there. We get a wide open shot. We... Throw it off a teammate. Oh, rebound control is something else. Taves walking in. We hold the short side. Uh, I can get it or you can get it. We can, we can, oh my God. Hey guys, you know that trap style of play we were using? It would be nice if we could finally go back to that where we were limiting teams to just 
a measly 16 shots a game. Svechnikov has the first one in the game of the whole game, not just for the Hurricanes, but of the entire game. Our patience pays off, our diligence in the net paying off as Svechnikov gets the team on the board first. Pass number 69, Vamelka. Very nice. First goal coming on nine shots. The Flyers have put a total of 15 through two or through one and a bit of play, not two periods. We haven't even played half of the second period yet. I'm ready for some crazy nonsense from D'Angelo. A turnover, a bad pass. Flyers connect on that pass to Bo Horvat. Now, now he's going to go from one side to the other to create the break-in and then loses the handle and punishes Dadanov shortly thereafter on your in your stride. Oh, it's loose. And I think we ring the post. Yeah, the crowd is letting them know all about it. Then this will be a drag, a shot not coming there, a second attempt still not coming. Good defense. Uh, we had that miraculous save. I think it was on this end of the ice. The puck is in. Tip it to Dabrowski. He's testing me as I was seeing if I was paying attention. Word of Ellis. Now Dabrowski, York firing one. They're looking for the deflection or maybe a screen. Oh, what a move by... Did you see that? That was a move by Lindell to break it out. Fired in by DeBrus. The first dump in, I believe, for the Flyers in the game. I don't know who's going where because no one wants to help break it out. Also, this camera doesn't really work well for playing the puck. I'm going to be honest with you. Not a good turnover. Tip it. Is he going to win that battle? He does. Tried to fire it on net. It's going to roll in front of me. Thank you, Lindell, for that. A cut to the middle of the blue line. Cast off. Aho rejected. Oh, what a... I'm telling you, we got that set up to perfection off the faceoff. Svechnikov, the one-timer, howitzered home. I'm telling you, just have that left shot back right off the faceoff, and it's an immediate pass for the one-timer. Hard for a goalie to adjust on that connection. I think we pulled the exact same thing off to Philly up at the Wells Fargo Center or whatever it's called these days. In the last game we faced Philly, which was in the game world about a week ago. It was, I think, less than a week ago in the game world. As far as that's concerned, Couturier, and we fight that off. I don't like this, so I'm going to hold on to it. I don't want to risk a pass. Don't want to risk a pass, so I'll take a risky face-off as well. Oh, yep, okay. Looks like the Flyers are going to get their first sod back to Couturier. Taves winding one off a teammate, I believe. Can you guys just play some defense, please? Just play some defense. And three seconds left. I didn't realize we're almost at the end of the period. That's a nice way to end it. Just 20 minutes. Just do this for 20 more minutes. Oh, there it is. There's the... Oh, what a... Sh oh, did Vamelka? He was close to getting there. Oh, man. You really have to make a quick push. Oh, he almost gets there. But there's plenty of room on the short side. Sebastian Ajo and the Flyers. They're, of course, going to be looking to crank one past us. If we stay out of the box, I think we can do fine. But the key part... The key element is staying out of the box, which we've struggled. We've struggled to do that tonight, actually. We have struggled to not take penalties. It would be nice for the team to draw a power play from the Flyers. Oh, it blocked again. I, I'd almost rather see the shot than have it blocked because it, it's pretty confusing the way it can change its trajectory. Oh, my God. This passing in front of me is making me anxi having anxiety. Where's this coming in on? It's Ajo. Off the wing, passed off, and oh, it's right there. I didn't realize I left the rebound, and we have taken a penalty right there. What did I freaking say to start the period? What did I just get done talking about? I get done explaining that we have struggled to stay out of the box, and Josh Morrissey goes and, and takes one of the worst penalties that we could have taken here. Right here early in the third period of play, I just made an interesting save, left a rebound. I think leaving the rebound popping out there did not help. I should have had a smother on that, but anyway... Two more minutes. Pass. Yes. Oh, we turn it away. Just got a pad on it. Guys, you're focusing on making big body checks when you should just be killing the penalty off. I'm telling you, nothing in this game is so stressful like when the AI gets it on a bad angle and they can just kind of walk it out toward the front of your net. Farabee. Ah, that's a good one. But that corner, it's going to end up in the corner as long as we get there first. All right, Farabee. Uh, there might be a pass. He's wide with it, so you know he's going to be looking to pass. Do not take an extra penalty. Oh, my God. I almost had a save on that, and that's what I was just saying. When they have it from the corner, and no one's doing a good job of, of defending, I want to try to show this. But you see how the guy set up here for a prime one-timer? He's not much of a threat from this angle. I don't have to worry too much. I can play the pass. 
And we do a good job. I know that the pass is coming. I just got to decide when it's coming. Try to anticipate. We do. We adjust with the shooter. Look at me come around. And then there's the shot. And it's just, oh. I'm, I'm wondering, had I flying poke checked right at this instant, could I probably have stopped that play? I don't know. It's pretty bang, bang. It's on the power play. And it's just, it's, it's what it is. No shun out coming. Freaking told these guys stay out of the box for the rest of the period we and we couldn't do that to start the period we couldn't do that to with it we couldn't even play seven minutes of the period without taking a penalty and they get it right at the tail end of the power play i knew it was going to cost us i mean that goal is not a total ball breaker just yet it's not the end of the world just yet but i mean philly gets one more they're tied and we're closest, we're over 20 shots already for the game. Nice save on Tippett, and the battery's low apparently. Oh, that was a big rebound off the pad. It's always the games where you're pitching a shutout in the third period, and when your team takes the dumbest of penalties that ends up costing you. It, I've noticed that that's a pattern that our team it goes under. We always, we always take a dumb, ill-timed penalty when I'm pitching a shutout late in the game. Oh, man. I'm glad Ethan Bear was standing there for that. Rolls it behind the net. Larkin in front one-timer. It clanged the post. So Vimelka didn't get over in time. He got good help from his good buddy. Oh, the rebound. I'm telling you, rebound goals are the toughest. Yeah, it just walks right out, takes a shot. We're forced to make the save, and we make the save, but we pot the rebound right to Horvat, and of course we can't adjust fast enough for that. I mean, we tried. Yep, and and look at that. Now it's a tie game, two to two game, and guess who was standing right there as well? Bo Horvat. We're gonna have to cover this guy and play tighter D on him for the rest of this game. That did that nearly hit that? That hit where the camera is. I don't think that got on net. I hope you're not watching that with 3D glasses because <laughs> you might have just jumped out of your seat, and I'm gonna jump out of my seat if Sveshnikov can put that one home, but he never did. This has been a pretty good little adjustment game for my sake. I need this game, but it's long, a long way from over, far from over. We're gonna play this. Oops. I was trying to change the camera when I guess I accidentally pressed up on the stick. Either way, we played it into a safe area. We got away with it. Sveshnikov shoots into the glove of Amelka. Pull up shot. Ellis going to walk in, passes off the tip, it rebound, it's loose. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm telling you, the Flyers, I don't know why they don't shoot for rebounds more frequently because I can't seem to handle that second chance. Just fend off Farabee, fend him off. Oh, that's okay. Everybody take deep breaths. I'm not having a good time right now. Oh, let's not, let's not overcommit short side. Oh. I'm getting bailed out by my defense, but I mean, we're making it, we're cutting it really close. Cutting it really close here in the final 16 seconds of play. No, you don't. No, you don't. Just get it. Just go. Seven seconds. Looks like this game could go to OT. It's all in the flyers into the ice. The ball is in their court. We got to get it. What a save by Vamelka on the horn. Oh my God. Three, really three on three overtime. No matter what, we've locked up a 900 save percentage because even if the Flyers score on the first shot, God forbid they do this, but they score on the first shot they take here in overtime. I still got my 900 save percentage. So a decent enough rebound game, but let's just focus on winning the game right here and readjust that. Let's focus on making a save because I'm pretty sure Sebastian Allo is going to shoot. Yep. And I've got it here. Go this way. Go this way. Oh, Svech, not a place to lose it. Not a place to lose it. Pull up. Find the back door. There it is. Oh, my. <laughs> well, well, I'm glad I'm not the only one that freaks out when I make a save. Oh, man. Larkin's in alone. That should be the game right there. That should have been the game. Oh, God. But the problem for us is Bo Horvat's out there. Sod. Save. Rebound. Picked up by D'Angelo. Maybe we can quickly transition this. Take advantage of that. Get it over to Netches and let's win this thing. Drew and windmill successful, but the shot not so successful. Save was successful for Vimelka. I'm stumbling over my words. A minute and 31 is a lot of time. It's a lot of time. It's all relative, I guess. As a goaltender, it is forever. It feels like forever. Oh no, 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 not Bo Horvat. Oh, the, he is the hat trick hero. We see a hat enter the frame. 
and we are going to win this one in overtime with almost a minute to play in it. Oh, what a freaking W for the team. And that is going to be a great bounce back for me after the game in Dallas, as well as the game that we played up in Philly to come back on home ice and get a victory. Yeah, we deserve to go surging. We do. We'll jump up on the glass, embrace the fans, and they will put me down for a second star. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, man, it feels like another day in the office for myself, as well as for Andrei Svechnikov, who achieved a hat trick the game winner in overtime for us the 935 save percentage two goals given up on 31 shots plus six in the line score i mean that's a positive bounce back from the games that we had up in philly and the game that we last played against the dallas stars this is a nice way to just kind of rebound after our confidence was shaken a little bit and uh we we stirred it right back up oh finally it, i've been waiting on the skill tree thing for a long time all right so we're one away after this upgrade we'll be one away from upgrading movement to the maximum in the skill tree we have three trade points available we're going to spend all three trade points to get us to level five movement so i have no more trade points and we're at 91 overall now maintain a 935 that was the same percentage in my last game the exact save percentage in the last game <laughs> you guessed it it is another whalers night tilt against the bruins we've got a very delicious set of pads set up for this one ready to go ready to rock and roll coming off of a nice game against the flyers an overtime victory we put it back pieced it back together and we just need to continue playing the way that we know how yeah we're in full-on retro style pads all white you'll see them at some point they'll probably be in the thumbnail actually maybe i don't know i don't know what the thumbnail will be for this video oh man that was a tough play stevenson right away the bruins score one goal on two shots we're not shutting out whalers night but you see how delicious do the pads look those look amazing but uh what doesn't look amazing is that puck going right past me completely opposite of what i had in mind when we started this game up and we got in the crease for this one we're gonna be tested a lot aren't we <laughs> nice i like it when they shoot off the rush like that that makes it very simple kind of hilarious a lot of red in the stands and not a single red jersey on the ice surface for this game the only red you'll find is my mask and the reason we don't change the mask is something is kind of glitched out i guess i'm not sure what's going on but when i change the mask it won't allow me to go back to a team specific mask if i go to a plain generic all white mask it won't let me change it back so i just leave it and uh yeah it's kind of a little bit um it, it I, someone's bucket list i think it's dylan larkin but it's one of those things where I'd rather just not mess with it and be able to keep my mask when we go back to the regular pads for the majority of the games that we're going to be playing in. I mean, Whaler's Night is a special occasion that we do, that I've decided to do for this series. I'm not sure if this is going to be the last game we play in Whaler's Gear for the season. I'm not entirely certain how the season's going to play out. That should be... Oh my god. Yes, good cover. I'm glad when I panic and it works out. Uh, sometimes I, I often freak out and it never works out. So we're going to come out really aggressive. Hope that we see a shot. Stevenson this time. Get a piece of it with the glove. Moved over just in time on that one. Oh, that's right. Brett Pesci is a member of the Bruins. He left us a couple of seasons ago. Here comes Duclair. Oh, okay. We can also get way up there and cover that. The Hurricanes have been... Without a lot of offense in this game early on, the Bruins have been taking all the shots. That one not on net. 4-4-2 four, four, and two in our last 10. And the win over Philly in overtime helps us break a what was going to go on a five-game streak, I think it was. Or maybe it was actually already at six games. It was whatever it was. It was not very pretty. We were on quite the losing streak going into that game against Philly. That's going to be really important for us to piece together a win streak. I don't know what we did in Toronto. We played a game in Toronto before this i didn't start that game it was up to alex nadelkovich to help get the victory in that one i don't know what happened pull up the pass larkin and it's held out by swayman and another one two brilliant saves by swayman on the short side always find it very interesting when a goalie wears number one you just don't see that very often anymore goaltenders wearing number one brings back vibes of archers urbe what a stop 
with a blocker. We still have possession. Still has it, though, and Swayman just puts a glove to that. We've taken a penalty, a slash, right after Swayman played it. And that's why you bend your knees, because if you bend your knees when you're skating, you don't take penalties. Well, not to say that you never take penalties, but maybe you're much less likely to not take penalties. Oh, man. The Bruins have been quite testy at five on five. What's this going to be like at, on a power play? Their first one of the game, at least it comes in late into the first period. So it took us a while to take that first penalty. Let's buckle up. We've got quite the job to do here. Kempe is going to pull across the crease. Suter, a nice save. Uh-oh. Oh, it's not out. That's not out. Obviously not out. I don't know where it is. Oh, follow it, follow it, follow it. Please get it. Get to it first. Someone in a green jersey, get to it first. I don't say that very often with this team, but I'm saying it tonight. Oh, no. Oh, the worst thing you could have done was take another one. Oh, well, this is just bad. This is this is all kinds of bad. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. 39 seconds. This will be at five on three. If we can just clear it once before the period ends, that should be it right there. Into the bench. Of all the places you could put it, you put it into the bench. Oh, yeah. We're going to have to do this again. Another D-zone face-off. 32 seconds now on the five on three. We should be... Graves just calmly... Oh my goodness! Why? Why are you doing this? We got the penalty taking. Oh, that could be holding. That could be holding. I am not immune to giving up a power play goal in this game. I hope you guys understand that. And we have to win this. We do. Oh my god. Here we go. Fasten your seatbelts. Tighten your seatbelts because I'm telling you, we're going to be on a ride. Oh no, 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 no. All right, that's a nice way to snag that with a glove. Please, please. All right, I'm stopping this right here. I'm just going to stop it right here, 5.1. Just win the face-off and get it out. There isn't a more important face-off in the first period than the one we're taking right now. We don't win it. Of course we don't. Oh, I made a save on just a, a slight save on McAvoy. It's enough. It's enough for right now. <laughs> Uh, hopefully, Coach LaBelle told the team in the intermission to just stop taking penalties. I don't know if he had that conversation because I was in a separate room trying to gain, regain my sanity from that first period. I wouldn't know. I wasn't present. I was not in the dressing room when, if that conversation went down. Hopefully, it did. Oh, I didn't know where that was coming from. We blockered it out of play. Oh, the, the pads look amazing, dude. It's just 40 more seconds right now. But we have one face-offs. We don't win this one. We have one face-offs and then take in... That's my fault for going down so early. Oh, well. Forget it. Hey, the Bruins were going to score on a... It was a 5-on-3. They were going to score on it. We just get that out of our system now so we can just kill off the 5-on-4. Our team is so behind the 8-ball in this game. We have just started this game off on the wrong foot. All right, just stop what you see for the rest of this. Just stop what you see from here on in. That's a nice start to rebound after the goal. I'm not terribly flustered by this game so far. I'm not. It's uh, been quite entertaining. All right, and melting it down. Oh, I should not have done that, but you know, I don't trust this team after taking face-offs. I just don't trust them with the face-off. We have to try to prevent defensive zone face-offs when we can. We just have to do it. That's a nice... I mean, I'm telling you, they have shot it a lot on the power play. We've done a good job handling it as a goaltender. All right, we're out of that phase of the penalty kill now. Oh, my goodness. They're just ripping everything past me in this game. Oh, this is just not a delight. Oh, man, what a shot by Kempe. We moved to the wrong side as well. Oh, I think I'm going to be sick. I think I'm going to be sick from this. This is... A horrendous effort by just the whole team. And that one comes at five on five. No power play excuse on that goal. Just a bad goal for me to give up. God, I'm pretty agitated with the last two goals that I gave up. The last two goals I've given up have been supremely agitating. Stevenson, no, 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 no. Not again. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be shocked. The Bruins have 20 shots already. I wouldn't be shocked if they get to 40 by the end of this one. We keep taking five on threes. That's not going to be an issue. So good news. It's Yeah, it is three goals, but it's... Three goals on 20 shots right now, uh, and the game the game's long from over. But uh, we gotta we gotta stop the leaking right here. We're leaking a little bit. I'm gonna plug the holes right here. If you if you like my boat analogy, very appropriate. It is Whalers night, you know. 
This has been a poor excuse of a game, not just from the defensive perspective, but from the offensive perspective as well. Not generating anything to save our lives. Okay. Uh, that might not get here. No, it's not. Oh, it's about time. You're actually going to call something against them. A charge. I'm good with that. I'm fine with that call. And we'll happily take a power play. We deserve one now. So whatever the Bruins were doing to you guys to make you guys throw the puck out of play to take a five on three, you need to start doing it to them off these faceoffs. And of course, we're just going to let Victor Rask have it right off the faceoff. The Bruins are probably not going to dump it in. This, this team is so cocky to be going for it shorthand or, yeah, shorthanded. It's another save in, uh, on my side of things. That should go in. Swayman, are you for real? Are you for real? And there we go. Posting in by Seth Jarvis. We get one on the power play. We cut into the lead. About freaking time. We got one. It took, a, it took long enough to break through in this one. All right, so we're on the board. That counts for something. It comes on the power play, so we make the Bruins pay for taking their penalty. Just like they made us pay for taking ours. The Bruins are not forechecking. Yo, Larkin. We got our goal. Let's turn it up to 11. These games do go to 11. Oh, that was a save? That was a save. That was crazy. And that'll get my confidence back up, making that stop on McAvoy. I went down way too early on the goal that he scored, so I got to just try not to do that anymore. Stevenson. Keep that shooter to the outside. Keep him to the outside. But of course... I'm, I don't know if I would rather see the shot there or, or have my defense pick me up on that play because if they lose it, I'm out of position. Uh-oh. Okay, I thought that was going to be... I thought that was going to be a breakaway. I really did. And we're on top of the Kempe. Ooh. Yeah, okay, never mind. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Lesson learned. If the player's on top of you like that, just cover it. Don't take a chance. Don't take any risks. No unnecessary risks. Netches. Goes down the Svechnikov. Oh, that was set up to perfection. A little give-and-go action, I believe. Netches sent it to Svechnikov. The word's not coming out of my mouth correctly right now. And then Svechnikov sent it right back across to Netches on the backdoor feed. Just be grateful the Bruins aren't carving me up like that. That was pretty bad. <laughs> wonder if the Bruins get the 25 before the end. 25 before the end of the period is a pretty decent mark uh, for their offense if they hit that. That's going to... Okay, good God. Where, where did that beat us? Oh my God, this should have been an easy save. We got the short side. This is an easy save. And we're letting that go. Oh my, under the glove. Do you see it? How was there such a gap there? And now I really do need the Bruins to shoot uh, and hit the net about 40 times. And now I need 40 shots. I, basically, it comes down to I need 40 shots. I have 23 against, four on 23. Just a difficult showing tonight. I don't even care about what the score is right now. I can't be too concerned about that. I got to do my own job. I cannot let a fifth one pass me. It really is super important not to let a fifth one get past me in this game. I can't allow that. Uh, rejected by Swayman right off the faceoff, too. We set that up. Penalty going to the Bruins. No point in going off the ice. And they go them going on the penalty kill, it'll help us from a power play perspective to stay in this game, but it's not going to help me in terms of seeing shots kind of the last thing I need. That ramped up the stick there. All right, who's open? Who wants it? I give you that puck and you hand it right away. Shen, I'm going to challenge. I just want a shot. There we go. Got to see more shots than that. I got to see. It would be not, If I could get to 30 shots before... Whoa, that's a penalty. Yep. I, that was a weird trip. The animation was so odd. That well, was kind of... We kind of took this a little bit early. Sort of early on the power play. <laughs> So, I mean, the Bruins will have a very shortened power play. A minute and 21 of four on four. This uh, might might actually benefit Boston here. Oh. Oh. One more shot for the Bruins. Please, just one more. If they can, if you keep it to the outside, just one shot from outside. Pesci. That's it. That's it. That's what I wanted. Maybe one more to end the period right here. 25 shots for the Bruins through... What is it? 40 minutes of play. They're going to have a shortened power play here, and it will be four on four for a bit of this time. And again, if I can just draw the Bruins into some shots off the rush, that'll help me get a little bit closer. But I highly doubtful they had 15 shots on net in this one period alone. Just going to see what they do. Just going to see what they do. Pesci, 
He's going to pass. He's going to look for that pass every time. They skated up the half wall, look for the centering pass. All right, so the Bruins get possession right as they're going to go on a power play. And I'll let you guys just do the clearing on that one. Uh, although I don't know if I trust you guys. You've taken a bunch of delay of game penalties. 27 seconds. I think I can handle that. I hope I can handle that. They're one for three on the power play. The Bruins are. That should be a shot. Oh, I tell me we fought that off with a save. I hope we did. Stevenson, it's wide. It's going to kick this way. No, the most annoying thing about this is when you're trying to play square and you're trying to play the angle, the goalie himself rotates inward sometimes when he's trying to make a save. So his body is not square to the puck. And he opens up parts of the net when he does that. And it's, I think the, I can't remember any of the goals that have been scored on me tonight, but I think the, the McAvoy goal that we get scored on like that, or maybe it was the goal that we got scored on in, in the game against Philly. Anyway, we've given up a goal like that quite recently where my goalie rotated his body the wrong way that should be a shot oh my god i'm terrible at trying to figure out where they're going to shoot it forced wide get back to this post okay it's getting a little chaotic now see now we're back in that full neutral zone trap not that the bruins seem to care right now guess i'm just going to eat it it's a bad game i'm not going to get back to 900 in this game and i guess i'm just going to have to deal with that yeah, now my defense has decided to show up. <laughs> We've decided to start playing for real now. And again, of Swayman having a relatively okay game, it's he hasn't seen as much action as I have, but um, he's made some brilliant saves. Oh, Kasha missing the net on that. There, please count that as a save. Really need to come out and have like a shutout in my next game. See, the, I'm actually having a pretty decent season. The line score is pretty good for the most part this year. And the way we've been playing as a team lately is not helping us out in terms of trying to make the playoffs. We want to be a playoff team so I can start in the playoffs. I want to try and, of course, help this team win a cup. That one went off the post. Do I need to bring the angles cheat back on? Because I'm having a tough time right now. I mean, I can just relax. I know that they're going to skate it right into a... Ch okay, maybe I can't relax. <laughs> just stopped that one timer a minute and a half to score two quick ones yeah they missed that one all right that was a good save well, the Bruins have figured it out oh my god oh holy crap please tell me, please tell me that was a save please tell me that was a save Oh my God, the highlight of the night! One timer misses, air mailed right over, bounces back this way. Look at where it bounces back to. Watch where it, where is it? It kicks back, bounces this way. I'm pushing to this post. It falls right to Brown, who has a goal in this game, and then I know I'm I'm out, and I die. Oh my, <laughs> we do, we make a desperation diving save with the head. <laughs> to keep it out that is the save of the year right there play of the year absolutely the greatest save of the whole season right here just to keep my save percentage somewhat intact that freaking close what a save oh my hey we, we may not win the game we may not end up with even a 900 save percentage we won't end up with that but i will at least make the sports center top 10. I mean, if that's not number one, then I don't know what is. Duclair, one last. Oh, Lindholm, good deed. So that's it. It's a disappointing finish to this game. But we just got to move on and focus on the next one. Yeah, I knew it was going to be something bad on the line score. The save percentage not going to be particularly beautiful, but we did recover some, and that desperation save of the year has allowed us to maintain that 866 as well. So got to be very thankful for that. Just got to be a little bit better in the next one.